on this episode, we're going to give you the truth about autoclaves right here on the Tequila Hombre coming up next. Hello and welcome to this episode of the Tequila Hombre where today we're going to be talking about and giving you the facts on autoclaves. There's a lot of misinformation that's been portrayed on Instagram as well as other social media platforms. And I wanna correct that today so people have a better understanding of what autoclaves actually are and how they work. So let's not waste any more time, let's get into it. All right, fellow tequila lovers, what you see here is an autoclave, actually four autoclaves. Autoclaves are nothing but large steel tubes that are used for cooking agave. As you can see here, they're perfectly hollow, nothing inside but a steel tube. And where you see those tracks on the bottom, they put grates in so that the honey, the bitter honeys can drip down and come out of the autoclaves just like they do inside a brick orno. Here you can see the autoclaves at El Tequileño Distillery where they're unloading the cooked agave. An a autoclave acts pretty much the same way as a brick orno, actually exactly the same way as a brick orno, with the only difference being that you can pressurize these to cook the agave faster. So basically what happens is steam is pumped into these just like steam is pumped into a brick orno, and the agave are then cooked. And you can either cook under pressure or you can cook with no pressure uh, when you cook under pressure, it speeds up the cooking, but really has no adverse effect on the cooked agave. So basically, an autoclave works the same way as a brick or no. Steam is the fuel they use to cook the agave, except it's done in a metal structure versus a brick structure. Now, with an autoclave, they can seal it, put it under pressure, and cook the agave faster. With a autoclave with no pressure, it takes about 16 to 20 hours to cook, maybe longer, sometimes they go 24, sometimes they go longer, depending on what they wanna do and what they feel works best for them. But when they do put it under pressure, they can cook it in as little as eight hours. El Ticolino, which you saw in the video there, they cook in eight hours under pressure. Now, the nice thing about using an autoclave versus a brick orno is they're easier to clean and they can re remove all the residuals from it where you can't really do that in a brick oven as residuals will get stuck in the mortar and then in the brick and it's harder to clean that way. And so with that, a lot of the master distillers that I talked to and the Ticoleros had said that you get a, actually a pure agave taste from the autoclave because there's no residuals and uh, brands like Calle Bente Trace, which is a Sophie Decabec, uh, tried different ways of cooking the agave to see which created the best flavor profile. And they chose to go with an autoclave because they believe it gives a better flavor profile. The same with uh, El Mexicano Distillery, which you saw in the beginning, the pictures of the four uh, autoclaves. That's at El Mexicano. They have two brick ornos there, and they also have four autoclaves. And they feel that the autoclave gave a better flavor profile and more true agave flavor because how easy they are to clean and uh, there's no residual um, elements left from previous cooks that could taint the flavor profile. So there's nothing wrong with autoclaves. They don't produce inferior tequila. If there's an inferior tequila that you've tried that was they used a high pressure autoclave or an autoclave period with it, it's because of the other processes. You can't blame the cooking for it. Autoclaves are great. They produce fantastic tequilas when the when they're used right and correctly by the people producing tequila right and correctly. So there you go. There's no boogeyman when it comes to autoclaves. They produce fantastic tequilas using steam, just like Bricornos, and produce fantastic tequilas from brands that you know, like El Tequileño, uh, El, uh, Don Fulano, also uh, Pura Sangre, uh, Tears of Yorona, as well as many other brands that are produced, Calle Bento Trace, that are produced using autoclaves. So don't fear the autoclave. Don't blame the autoclave. If you're tasting a bad tequila that was, an, was came out of an autoclave cooking, it's probably one of the other processes they did that just didn't sit right with the flavor profile. All right, there you go. The truth about autoclaves. If you like the information I shared, make sure you click the thumbs up. 
If you're new to the channel, bienvenido, welcome, and hopefully you will click that subscribe button right there and the notification bell next to it so you get notified every time I post a review or an informational video like this one. And we'd love to see you comment to become part of the Tequila Ombre community here on YouTube. And like I always say, life is too short to drink bad tequila, so don't worry about autoclave cooked tequilas. They can be quite good. Salud.